So this was my little visualization of the Calvine event like the witnesses told it. I must admit that... Two seconds. Well. So I must admit that it's actually possible with all the angles, camera settings etc. But the camera has to be a lot lower than the fence to make it possible to have that much sky in the photo, mountain tops in the bottom, and only the top of the poles in the frame. I don't know the area it was said to be photographed in, but I guess this scenario is possible. I made the final photo at 50mm, since this is a common focal length and what a camera expert also said seemed realistic regarding distortion and other factors. The UFO was said to be around 40 meters wide. And even though it looks like flying straight, the angle is actually surprising when seeing it from the side. I know a UFO is not defined, but if it was the classic shape, it has to be this angle in order to look like that in the photo. 30 degrees. The jet is tilted 75 degrees, but I'm not sure this is right, it could have tilted the other way, I just couldn't make it look right that way in my experiment. The surface of the UFO is untold, here I found a texture called alien metal, that's not wrong is it? I found a model of a Harrier jet, because that's what was said it could have been, and the shape fits really good in the final photo, so it's not wrong. So this is my fantasy landscape and everything I had to guess and assume. I know the mountains seems a bit too high and steep compared to what you see in Calvine, but I had to make something to get the mountain tops in the photo. My point with this project was to see if it could be photorealistic regarding angles etc, not to prove if a giant disc or diamond was hovering in the sky. If you like this video please see the other one I made, of the water reflection theory of the same UFO. Link is here. Remember always to be skeptic. Also see the Costa Rica video I made. Click here. And maybe a future one here.